Sabine, I'm going to teach you how to fly. <gasps> like a bird? Oh, better than a bird. <laughs> You're going to make your own airplane. See, <clears throat> you fold it like this. And like this. And this. And this. And this. And you give it wings. <laughs> and you get inside, and you sit down, and up you go. In 1942, when a lot of our friends had fled already, uh, one morning, May, a beautiful day, my mother came into my room and started dressing me. And she put on one dress and another dress and another and a sweater and another dress. And she kept layering me with clothes and I didn't understand. I said, what are you doing? It's warm. I don't want all these clothes. And she said, don't say a word. Just do as I tell you. So here I was with all the clothes. And uh, so my sister and my parents, and we walked out the door, locked the door, and walked away. And then we kept walking and we came to Antwerp. We crossed barbed wire. I chant the new words to myself. Country. Border. Safety. Danger. Jew. 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 We lived there for a year, and the only one who went out of the house was my father, because he had to get food for us. And one day, he was away very long. My mother worried. Finally, he came home, but he didn't come home alone. He came home with a German collaborator that was uh, a Belgian, uh, and in Belgium, uh, as also in Holland and in many countries, if you turned in a Jew, you got money. You know how much money I'll get if I tell everyone there's a Jewish family hiding in this house? We aren't Jewish, sir. But Mama, you said... No. You look Jewish to me. And there's no place for Jewish <gasps> filth in this town. And that's why they're paying good, responsible people. It up. I mean, they sat around the table. My mother took a little handkerchief and went. Took all the jewels she had. She took off, put it in the handkerchief and gave it to the guy. And the guy left and said, I'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. If you're still there, you all go. So we waited for him to leave and half an hour later, we started walking again. Mm -hmm and went to Brussels. Nine people in one house. But we become a kind of family, and at night I sleep. One night, I woke up, and I had a cold, and I was coughing, and my father used to come in the middle of the night to bring me some water. So I woke up, and I heard a noise, and I said, Daddy? And there was no reply, so I opened my eyes, and there was a guy standing right there with a stun gun pointed at me. Papa? Get up! Papa! Mama, let go of me! Mama, Papa, no! <laughs> Don't even think about moving. Where are Mama and Papa? They're taking them to a labor camp. I heard the guards talking, but they'll escape right now. No, know. they know. have to! They have to! Sabine, listen to me. I need you to tell me all our names. Mama? Papa? No, our long awesome. names like we practice every morning. You don't come with me. No, please, sir. I can't leave my sister. If She's you know it's good for you, you'll please, shut your mouth. Please, sir, please, sir. No. Ah. Oh. Ah, you shut your mouth or you'll get the same. Then the whole house woke up and it was pandemonium and, and, and everybody was screaming. What happened? They had broken into the house in the middle of the night. Somebody had given us away and uh, we were taken to the prison. Hidatha! Hidatha! Oh, you've grown so big! Where were you? In the camps like you. But how did you get the here? The Red Cross brought me off to me. Are Mama and Papa with you? No. 
No, but, but where are they? Where are Sabine, they? we must be patient. Why must you always be so patient? Someone has to be. Every morning in the orphanage, there was a gathering, and uh, the director would stand there with a whole bunch of mail, and he would call all the names, and, and I and my sister would stand there, and nothing. Day after day, there was no mail for us. Until one day, there was mail for us. And that came from my uncle, my mother's brother, who had survived the war in uh, Geneva, Switzerland. And then in March 1946, he came to get us and took us home. I, I don't have much to offer. I'm a, I'm a teacher. We'd, we'd live very simply, the three of us and my wife, but we, we'd like to take you home with us, if, if you'd be willing to go. When? Uh, today. Uh, yes, the, um, the, the Red Cross contacted us in Switzerland. <laughs> we, we, we came as soon as we heard. We'll, we'll make sure you have an education and, and are taken care of as, uh, as best we can. We, we, we have an apartment in The Hague. In the, in the Hague, but we can't go there. Jews can't go there. We can now. The war is over. <laughs> the Hague is our home again. The Jews are free. 